Hello everyone. Uh, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. Um, just, you know, stuff's been going on. I've been dealing with a lot. Uh, but, I'm back. Uh, I just wanted to do this video response for Thomas, 13th Wolfman. Got a little mini-series going of, uh, first we began with drive-in theaters. Any, you know, during the 70s and the 80s. Anybody that had seen um, you know, been to a drive-in and shared their experiences. Uh, so I had to because I had such a, a wonderful childhood growing up and there's times at the, the drive-in, which I prefer more to a walk-in. But um, now he's got the newest thing where we're doing first-run and second-run theaters, um, which happen to be walk-ins usually. Uh, yeah, where I grew up, uh, once again, we, at the time uh, that we had the Mustang drive-in, we only had one other walk-in, okay, and that was the plaza. Um, and during the time of the Mustang drive-in's uh, rain and everything, the plaza was the other place that we went to, but uh, it was a first-run theater, so it got movies right away. Uh, that's where I also, I went to once again go see Star Wars. Um, when it came out, I first saw it at the Ch at Man Chinese Grauman Theater in uh, Hollywood. And then later on, I came home and got to watch it at uh, the Plaza Theater. You know, it was a first run theater and it was showing there too. So I actually went several times and watched Star Wars at the Plaza. And then also got to see it at the Mustang Drive-In too, so... I can't tell you how many times I've seen that doggone movie. But uh, then uh, the Man 10 showed up, okay, and it had 10 screens because the plaza only had one screen. But what was really cool about the plaza, even when it was the only walk-in that we had for miles and miles and miles and in our town, it showed a double bill. You always got to see a double bill. And at the time, it wasn't, even though it was a first run, it really wasn't that expensive. Okay? It was like a dollar or two just to, you know, like, no, it was a dollar to get in. Okay? And you got to see two movies. Um, and drinks for 50 cents. Um, and then when it switched over to a second run theater, they, uh, and of course prices had gone up, they had dropped back down to um, a dollar. When everyone else was, you know, like the Man 10 came out at 10 theaters and they were a first run uh, theater. And it was, if I remember correctly, when we first went there, it was five dollars, four, no, four dollars um, to get in to see a movie. And then it went up to five dollars and, and everything. And the last I remember, it was five dollars. Um, but, uh, yeah, and that was, you know, not a matinee price. A matinee was like three bucks. But, so anyways, um, they the transition that the plaza went through, becoming a first run to a second run, took place um, also during the Star Wars era, when you got Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Um, I got to see both of those at the plaza because the man could not get for whatever reason, they could not acquire those movies. So they ended up, uh, the Plaza was able to acquire them, and that's where they showed um, those two sequels to Star Wars, was, you know, at the, at their theater. And that was the end of them being a first-run movie theater. And so in the movies I have here are movies that I had seen, well, this top row right here, top two row, were movies that I had seen in the first run theater at the Man 10, but then waited and watched them at the Plaza when they were released there because we didn't have a VCR at the time. We didn't have anything like that. If I want, if I liked the movie and wanted to see it, I had to go to the theater to see it. Um, you know, and some of my friends at the time, when VCRs were first coming out, and the Betas, Betamax, uh, you know, later on when I was in high school, that was just, just all the rage and people were, you know, getting that and being able to watch the movies at home. So I could, hopefully my friend would rent it or they'd own it and I'd get to watch the movie there. But outside of that, I had to go to the movie theaters. 
And I was really in favor of the second runs because not all the times could I get to see movies at the first run because I didn't have the money. And the second run always played them longer, too. Um, so I got to see these movies, you know, at first runs. Then, because I liked them, I went back and got to see them at the second runs when they came out. Um, these movies down here, I actually got to see at the second run theater at the plaza. Uh, this one in particular, The Abyss, I wanted to see so bad, but I didn't have the money. So I couldn't go watch it, so I had to wait. And then when it came out, uh, I got to see it at uh, the second run. Of course, this is much later, so I'm kind of going out of the, period, the the time frame and everything between the 70s and 80s. Um, but still, you know, I mean, it was at the latter part, portion, but still, you know, I mean, it was... Uh, you know, I wanted to see that so bad, but just couldn't do it. Um, some other movies that I, I got to see. And I, I remember uh, going there. Oh, I wanted to say this about the the thing. Um, the man had, you know, you went into it at the first front theater. And, you know, it had the 10 theaters. They were much smaller. And uh, you walk in and you see the screen. There's the screen right there. But at the plaza, what was really cool was they had a curtain. Just a red, big red curtain that went across the screen. And you didn't get to, you know, you didn't see the screen. All you walk in, you sit down, the lights are all on. And you got this huge curtain. And then as the movie was getting ready and they were showing the previews and stuff, all of a sudden the screen would slowly come back. Lights would dim. As the screen, as, you know, the screen was opening and being revealed, the lights were dimming. So by the time the screen was fully open, boom, the first screenshot comes on. I love that, and, and it was it was so weird because as soon as it happened here, everybody scrambling, everybody talking, everybody standing in front of things, and then all of a sudden, the second that the lights went off and the the first shot came on, you know, and it was usually just you know a rating thing or something like that or or whatever, you know, a preview. Everything was quiet. Yeah, the whole movie there just shut the hell up. I thought that was cool. Also, at the second run, I got to see. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show uh, for the first time. And of course, not just sitting down the way it was released the first time. No. Um, we're talking about the midnight showings. And some friends of mine grabbed me and they brought me down there. And of course, that's where I lost my cherry. Um, and those of you that have been to the Rocky Horror Picture Show know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I had a blast. Just fun. Um, my, losing my cherry was... it. Everybody has a different experience. Um, please, anybody out there that has also had a similar experience, or please, I'd love to hear their experience and how they lost their cherry at the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Me, we were taken up, there was five of us, we were taken up on the stage, and really, really nice looking girls um, came up, they stripped us down to our underwear, so we're standing in our underwear, and they proceeded to spray uh, whipped cream all over us. And then, you know, we're taking cherries, and they'd sit off to the side, and they'd have some other people when we're throwing cherries at us, seeing how many they can get to stick. Very humiliating. You know, <laughs> it was funny, and it was fun. And then there was a little extra bonus. Um, yeah, and I thought it was interesting. No, I mean, very erotic, because uh, the girls would wipe it off of you, but also sometimes would lick the whipped cream with the, at the encouragement of the audience. To lick the whipped cream off of you. Yeah. Great times. Loved it a lot. I had a lot of whipped cream all over me. So anyways. That was at the second run theater of the plaza. Um, which I don't know if it's still there. Um, I, I should ask my mother. Because she still lives in the same areas. If the plaza is still there. I don't know. Because I thought it disappeared. But I know the man 10. That was the first run. Is now a church. Um. So I find that very interesting. Uh, but, I, you know, you get to see quite a few movies and, and everything. I mean, I saw this take on uh, Frankenstein's Tale, uh, The Bride with Sting. I saw this at, a second, at the Second Run Theater. A um, lot of fun there. House. Uh, you get to see, oh, actually, you know what? I saw this at the first run at the Man. Man 10. And then later on, Went and saw it at uh, the plaza, so I forgot to include that one. But 
um, later on down the line, things got a little hectic for me, and I couldn't always make it to the Man 10. So uh, I got to see Friday the 13th final chapter at the Plaza, second run theater. Um, I can't remember what I saw it with. Oh, man, I had a blast. Uh, Friday the 13th, A New Beginning at the Plaza Theater. I mean, just had a... It was cool because there was people running around down the aisle just screaming. Shit was going on, and it was fun. It kind of reminded me of the driving for those movies. Um, didn't really happen for the other ones because then, you know, everything started getting more. Shut up, shut up. Um, and you wanted to enjoy me because you also had that claustrophobic feeling. But the plaza was so huge, you never really felt that way. Um, saw the gate at the second run. Um, Labyrinth at the second run. Um, and here's an interesting one. I just wanted to show this because I actually saw this at the second run. Because I wanted to see it at the first run, but it, it came and went so fast. Um, by the time I was able to, uh, I, I didn't get to see it. But... I did get to see it at second run, and this DVD uh, in particular has the uh, edited back in the scene of Adrian Barbeau bathing in the swamp. Yeah, you get to see everything from the waist up, so from there up you see her in all her glory. And of course now, if you pick up any of the DVDs, it's they uh, discontinued this one, pulled it off the shelves, and I forget why, but uh, decided to edit that scene out again and it's not even included in the extras or anything in the, in the uh, newer releases but um, I had to get this by this one used that's the only way to get it from now on and of course this because the I tried to get the old Hollywood sticker off but it started to tear so I left it on and just covered it up with that maybe I'll color it in or something I don't know but uh yeah this is the version that has that uh, special uh, scene in it. Um, where I live now, we do have a second run theater. Um, I forget the name of it. Um, when I first moved to this town, um, I didn't live in the town. I would try to drive down to work. But we learned of a second run theater that was pretty cheap. That for uh, $1.50, you could watch one movie. It's only one movie. It's not a double feature or anything like that. And here, I believe they have seven screens at this uh the second run theater here in town, which is still here. Um, and when we came out, uh, we didn't get to. I, I missed uh, this movie. My wife and I went and saw the Mummy at um, the second run because we didn't get to see it at the first run. And there's two of them. They were both in the malls, but uh, we didn't get to see the first this out of the first run theater. So we waited, and then we saw that it came out at uh, the second run for $1.50. So we went and saw that um, there at the Second Run Theater. And that's even now, I believe it's either $1.50 or $2. You can go in and see a movie. Um, they still have it. It turned into, it, it sold, changed hands about uh, four years back and became a strictly Latin movie um, theater. So all you can see there were Spanish-speaking movies. Um, really didn't have any Spanish horror. I don't know why, but just a lot of Spanish movies. Um, and some, some, very few, but some were actually subtitled. Uh, which was odd because it kind of alienated a lot of people. But they did okay. And then finally it was purchased uh, by someone else, so it changed hands again. And now it's back to an English-speaking um, thing. And I'm waiting for Super 8 to come out to the theater because I missed it in the first run theaters. And everybody's been ranting and raving about it. So, uh, yeah, Luke, I got gotcha. you. Um, you definitely said <laughs> go see it. So I plan on seeing it. But I'm waiting for it to come out at the second run so I can actually go see it there. Because I know everybody's saying, go see that in the movie theater. Um, I just had some great times at the second runs. I mean, everything from you get uh, cheaper uh, ticket prices. Uh, the movies you tend to last a little longer um, than they do with the first runs. Because the first runs are just trying to pump out the movies as fast because the new movies are coming in every Friday. 
So they're trying to get rid of them and uh, show them, you know, uh, show the new movies that are coming in, so making room. Um, and, you know, it's just, I don't know, the second runs were pretty cool. You know, it was more laid back. It wasn't as they, and it, they were never really sold out, so you had a lot of room. Um, and it was funny because uh, the first runs, you always get the idiots. You know, that's what I was saying. The people that were talking and, and crap and just being assholes. Um, whereas in the second run theaters, it was kind of out because, yeah, the movies had already been out. So the people that were watching were people that were really interested in the movie and really wanted to watch the movie. So you didn't have a lot of talking. And my wife and I even noticed that when we went to go see The Mummy. Not a lot of people talking. Um, but the seats weren't as great. The seats were really bad. But, uh, yeah, so that was my experience. Um, I'd seen a lot of movies um, at the first run uh, growing up. And like I said, that whole first year that uh, Man 10 first opened, they had Dollar Tuesdays. Hell, I was there every single Tuesday. Though you didn't get to see often the movies that you wanted to see, which was really a shame. So... And then, uh, of course, that ended up, pre you know, causing the closing of the Mustang Drive-In, which was a total shame. Um, but we had had a lot of fun. It was a walking distance of about, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour to get to the Man 10. And getting to the plaza, my mom would drop us off $5, and that took care of three kids. And all our snacks and drinks for two movies. Just five dollars. So, and you, like I said, you got a double bill. Can't beat that. Well, everyone, I've spoken long enough. Um, hopefully I'll be able to upload this at this time. Because I've gone on and on. Uh, I have so much more, but, you know, I, I'm blanking out on some stuff. So forgive me. Um, but there you have my take on first run and second run theaters. Um, take care everybody and uh, hopefully we'll see you back here in a little bit with some more videos. Alright, let's catch you later.